Hello, 1913 here, and today I have a very quick unboxing slash demo slash review of the Bauer DSLR video camera stabilizing grip. I bought this at Best Buy for $39.99. Obviously, this is definitely a lower end um, stabilizing grip. Uh, you can definitely get one for a lot more, um, even hundreds of dollars, but I definitely didn't want to spend that. So $39.99 gets you pretty much this very simple uh, grip. So this is the box, the front, so here's the side, back, sorry this is the back. Nothing else. So this is what it looks like. So it's got a neoprene, kind of neoprene foam grip. And it says Bauer right here. And then this is where, again, like I said, you can mount like a flash and stuff like that. Rubber feet. And these are the different positions you can have your camera in. And it mounts onto your camera just like a regular tripod would. So if it doesn't work for some reason, you can always take it back. So now I'll show you what it looks like with the camera on it. So as you can see, I've got the grip, and now I've got my camera. So this is the T5i. So all you do is you find the spot where you want your camera to be. I want it right here. Go underneath. You can obviously slide it black back just by lightly unscrewing it and moving it back. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. Pros, the build quality. Although the grip is mostly made out of plastic and the handle is a nice foamy neoprene-like texture, it feels sturdy to hold. The biggest plus side of this is the support it gives your camera. It does give you another way to hold your camera since the camera itself does not have many things to hold onto while you're filming. Now let's talk about the cons. This grip will in no way replace a Steadicam. It's a great option for beginners like myself who don't have money to throw around for a Steadicam, but if you already have a Steadicam, this will just be an unnecessary item. I also found that the tilt screen on my T5i was not able to fully open when the camera was positioned at the back of the grip. It was also quite a hassle to adjust the camera's positions. The flash was also blocked and zooming on the camera was not impossible, just awkward. And if we're getting into nitpicky things, the camera strap is also always getting in the way, but that's not exactly the grip's fault. Overall, I don't regret buying this. It does add support to my camera and although the stabilizer part doesn't exactly help much, it could still be useful for filmmakers who shoot, you know, skateboarding videos or any kind of action videos. So thank you so much for watching. If you thought this video was nifty, please give it a thumbs up. I am giving a thumbs up right now.